Hi students, good day everyone. This is Vandana from Department of Computer Applications, SFO College for Women, Sivadas. Now, this video presentation is about architecture, services and user agent of email. We all know that email is a form of communication used to communicate with people all around the world. Email has its own conventions and rules. Generally, people can create emails using text, numbers, um, jargons and also some ASCII symbols like uh, emoticons or smileys etc. Mm. Traditionally, the first email system consists of file transfer protocols. That is, uh, the people who want to send an email must create a file. The first line of the file is the recipient address followed by the messages that the user want to communicate. But there are many disadvantages in this uh, traditional system. The first one is uh, sending a message to a group of people is not possible. And next, the messages had no internal structure. That is, uh, the message must have fed their body, etc. But, uh, but the traditional system has no internal structure. So, the processing is most difficult. And, and then, the sender never knew that if the message sent by him was uh, arrived or lost. And also, the transmission system of the traditional mail consists of first editing a file, then transfer that file using some transfer programs. Then, it was not possible to send messages with a mixture of text, drawings, facsimiles, emoticons, etc. But later on, many changes have been made to this traditional system, and now the email is fully structured. First, we are going to see about architectures and services. Email architecture consists of two subsystems, one is user agent and another one is message transfer agent. User agent is used to read and send email. It is nothing but the program that is command based or menu based uh, which, is used, which is used in tracking. And then the second one message transfer agent is used to move the messages from the source to the destination. These are nothing but the daemons that run in background. The basic functions of email are composition, transfer, displaying, reporting, disposition, mailboxes, mailing list, and then uh, envelope, etc. The first function of email is composition. It is just a compost button in our email. Composition is the process of creating and answering messages. For that, any text editor can be used. Here, the main thing is the destination address must be placed in the proper place. And also for answering, that is replying messages, automatically the address is inserted into the reply. The next function is transfer. Transfer is nothing but a send button in our email. So it is the process of moving messages from sender to recipient. It needs connection establishment, message transfer and connection release, which is done automatically by email system. These are all transparent to the user. The next function is reporting. This is the process of telling the sender about what happened to the messages. That is whether it is delivered or not. Next function is display. Display is just for the user uh, so that they can read. So it is used to display incoming messages so, the user, so that the user can read. The next function is disposition. This position means what the, receiver is, what the recipient is going to do with the message after receiving. Whether the user is going to delete before reading or delete after reading or saving. This is what is called as disposition. And the next uh, function is mailboxes. Mailboxes it is a storage used to store incoming emails. And there are commands to create and delete mailboxes and to read the content of the mailboxes and also to insert and delete messages from the mailboxes. And the next main unique functionality of uh, email is mailing list. Mailing list consists of a list of mail addresses. It can be used to send to more than one receiver. So to send an identical copy to multiple users, the mailing list can be used. The next function is envelope. Envelope contains the information for transmitting messages. So, whether whatever the inf information needed to transmit the messages, 
these are called as envelope such as destination address, priority level, security level, etc. So envelope consists of two parts, one is header part and another one is body part. Header part is nothing but it contains source address, destination address and subject etc. Body part contains messages. Next we are going to see about user agent. User agent is nothing but a program that is used to accept a variety of commands for composition, receiving, reply, etc. So it is just a user interactive editor. Some user agents have a fancy menu and some have a icon driven based interfaces. Some require a mouse or some other requires a keyboard. The main functionality of user agent is sending and reading mail. First you are going to about sending email. So to send an email, a user must provide the message, the destination address and also some other parameters. Many user agents accept the addresses in the form of user at domain namespace. We all know that our mail id is in the form of our mail id at gmail.com or our mail id at yahoo.com etc. So all the mail id must follow this format. Other than this, other form of addressing also exists. In particular, X400 addresses are composed of attribute is equal to pass, separated by slashes. So, example for this is here. C is equal to US, ST is equal to mass RQ sets, like that. Uh, attribute is equal to value, separated by slashes. So this address specifies the country, state, locality, address and the common name. This is also one of the address format of the email. And the next main functionality of user agent is reading email. When a user agent is started up, it looks at the user's mailbox that is inbox for incoming email. Here in the inbox, there are many fields, flags, bytes, sender, subject. And the first field hash is used to provide the sequence number. So the first field is the message number. The second field is the flags. It contains three variables K, A or F. K means the message is not new that is read already. A means the message has been already answered. F means the message has been forwarded to someone else. And the third field tells how long the message is. And the fourth field tells to whom the message has to be sent. Finally the subject field gives here the summary of what the message is about. People who fail to include a subject uh, field that particular email will not get the highest priority. After reading the email the user can do anything that is they can display messages, delete the messages or save that messages etc. In the older system that is text based one character commands are used to perform these particular tasks that is for example T means type messages, A means answer messages and D means delete messages and F means forward messages. But most recent system uses graphical interfaces that is these messages, these commands will be in the form of uh, menus. We can just click them in to do this task. That's all about email architecture services and the user engine. Thanks for watching.